I've never done this before, but um, my name's Brennan. I am a doctor in Cairns, and I've got some cool stuff to show you in the rainforest after this. So, here is a new species of cordyceps, the zombie fungus. And underneath each one of these kind of alien growths coming out of the ground, underneath each one is actually, oh, here's one. So, there we go, cordyceps indeed. And so the fungus times its spore dispersal with the mating of these cicadas and then infects them. They go underground, they use a proboscis to tap into tree roots, likely this guy's tree roots, and they drink the sap for years, I think like six years for these Aussie ones. 17 years for some in America. Oh, yes, here we go. Look at this. <gasps> and, uh, sorry. I'll get stable here. Look at that. Yeah, and so then after six years, when it's the time is right for the big old sex party in the sky, the cicadas dig their way to the surface. The healthy ones go out and have a big old sex party, but the fungus infected ones just like erupt. <laughs> Look at this, there's so many. They like erupt. So under there is some poor old sap. Oh, and it just erupts from their head and it, it's kind of metal. Um, and yeah, and then that is when everyone else is mating and the spores go off and the cycle continues. But that's not all. Check out, there's so much in this one area. Okay, so look at the. Oh, sorry, sorry for the bad camera. Look at this, star jelly. So much, like, star jelly. Look at it, it's like, um. <laughs> oh, ignore my wrinkly, wrinkly fingers. You know, it's, it's like, just jelly. Uh, this one's a bit denser. You know, like, it's like a disintegrated starfish on the beach for people who live near the beach. That feels exactly like, not a starfish, sorry, jellyfish. Exactly like, kind of like a disintegrated jellyfish. And there's, like, there's so much, like, the volume in here is, you know, like, Bloop. Bloop. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know everyone will be making the cordyceps comments and all that sort of stuff. And I mean, they're valid jokes. But get creative with them, people. Oh, and look, while I'm here, look at that sneaky fella. Whoa. Crazy. All right, just lick my fingers clean. There we go. All right. Um, I think until there's something else I discover. Oh, I guess I'll give you a good look at these these things. Sorry, go on, Brendan. See, this is <laughs> this is a fungus that masquerades as a slime mold. I think, which is pretty cool. Uh, I didn't look up its name before the video, so I can't tell you. But when I look it up, I will be angry that I forgot it because I should know it. Um, and this <laughs> same same with this raspberry little dot guy. Sorry, it's difficult to get it in focus because like everything in the macro world. Cool, hey. All of this, like this is oh wait, and we've got like an amorphous bird's nest fungus. Anyway, I'll, I'll stop there. I'm probably running out of video space. Oh more sli more slime jelly. What is going on? <laughs> in before oh, oh, by the way, uh, actually I won't say my theory. I do have a theory of what it is that's not paranormal or anything like that. Um, yeah, uh, but I currently lack the microscopy skills necessary to confirm it. Um, but yeah, we'd love to hear what people think. Sorry for any, I've never done this ever before, but 
Normally it's just my friends out here. Anyway, this is the Cairns rainforest. The air is water. <laughs> but it's worth it. Alright, bye.